The latest Inside Xbox did not go well with public sentiment. Many fanboys are upset about this and think that this is not fair. But I'm here to tell you why Xbox needs to ignore this crowd for once, listen to the public, so they can excel with their presentation of future shows. Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, because y'all know the deal, y'all know the reason, and y'all know the slogan. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, y'all. Oh, boy. <laughs> How are we going to parse this? Well, let's, let's try to come in easy and we'll, we'll wait a while before we start heading into any turbulence. All right. So uh, the day prior to this recording, the Inside Xbox show was, was debuted. Uh, that included the, I, I may be butchering this, the Xbox Series X 20 for 20 initiative, which is supposed to be segments that are gonna be done every month until launch that show elements of the Xbox Series X. And they kicked that event off with a showcasing of third party games that were coming to the system. And let's do this real quick. Um, and it was something that was, you know, it was something that was advertised advertise and hyped up. You know what I'm saying? I know there's a lot of people on the periphery after the fact to say, no, oh, Xbox really wasn't hyping this up. No, they were hyping this up. I mean, and everybody from Xbox fans to whoever and of the likes said that this thing was hyped up. But let me just show you a couple of the of the adver adverts on social media, right? So this is coming directly from Xbox themselves. It says, tomorrow changes the game. You hear that? It changes the game. Or rather, the game does the, the games do the changing, right? Watch inside Xbox 8 a.m. Uh, Pacific for a first look at next generation gameplay for the Xbox Series X. And here goes another advert. Every game you'll see on inside Xbox tomorrow will be the Xbox Series X optimized. Spoilers, you're gonna see this badge a lot. You ready? We're ready. All right. So there's a lot more other tweets from Aaron and some other people. I'm not going to get into all of them. I'll just show you a couple more later, but it, it was hyped up and there were some other publications talking about Assassin's Creed Valhalla being showcased there. So, so it was hyped up. You know what I'm saying? Um, and let's just say <laughs> that it fell flat, right? It fell flat because as an observer of the show, and, and I recommend that you guys go watch our side splitting, very comical and, and very edgy um, broadband bullies um, showcase or, or live reaction of the show. They, it, 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 the, the, it wasn't the games that they showed that was the problem, but I think public sentiment is outside of bright memory which a lot of people weren't familiar with i bought the game on pc i haven't touched it yet but i bought the game on pc and it is a marvel it's a game developed by one guy and it looks bad as hell um you know what i'm saying in a good way with that said besides putting a good focus on that and having that game look good there really wasn't much to remember from the showcase like unless i tell you guys what was in there people don't remember anything besides that bright memory game for the most part scorn maybe you know scorn aesthetically looks real weird and and, and very hellraiser ish i'm telling my age if you ever seen the, the horror movie hellraiser you know what i'm saying so it looks interesting that's coming to pc as well but it's an exclusive to xbox and i'll get into that a little bit later the xbox series x that is you know what i mean so because of that um, it, it fell short of expectations. It wasn't the games that were shown that was bad, but it was the it, it was the fifty first dates issue here. You know, every time we wake up and deal with an Xbox show, it's the same thing over and over again that they fall short on presentation of these games. I said in a tweet that Xbox's problem is they can make good games look bad. Meanwhile, Sony's strength is they can make bad games look good. And if you want people to absorb and, and, and participate 
in, in your product or services, they have to be wild before they put their hands on it. They're not just going to say, hey, this thing exists, so I'm going to do it. They got to feel like there's some type of incentive or, you know, there's there's some good reason in order for them to do that, especially when we're talking about expecting people to pay $500, maybe even more to, to get a hold and, and access um, a lot of these new experiences, right? So... Again, the games weren't bad. The showcase wasn't the worst, but I do think that it did fall short on wowing anybody. And because it fell short on wowing anybody, here goes um, a poll that Geoff Keighley did. Uh, you know, what's your grade of the Xbox event today? And I went with everybody else. I ranked it a D because, you know, it was it was supposed to it was supposed to wow people games weren't the problem you hear the argument well if you didn't like those games then they're gonna look worse than a playstation 5 that's not the point again it's, the, it's how xbox make those games look i guarantee you if these game same games were shown in a sony showcase they would it, it, it would have been sent off better you know what i'm saying so because I want to say maybe three at the most three games you really like probably garner some attention to your system out of the 13 14 15 that you've shown so that's less than 30 percent of the showcase didn't feel like a waste of time I, I i graded it a d as well i wouldn't call it an f but you know i wouldn't call it a complete failure but it, it, it did it did miss expectations right so that's the reception but here's what happened in lieu of that reception you had a lot of fanboys that who are massive enthusiasts of xbox and again they giving you all types of damage control all over the place and like i said earlier the games will look worse on playstation 5. you guys were sitting there saying earlier that you were excited to see these games and now that microsoft seen them you said the showcase is bad a bunch of silly things that ain't got nothing to do with the tea in china because again the issue is not the games it's that xbox can't get nobody excited outside of the people that ain't going nowhere that's the problem and again as i said too early as i spoke to earlier it's bigger than exciting you guys because if you guys were the ticket then they wouldn't be in last place period okay and here's what if you if, even if you're a fan of something you can't do this rah rah pom pom we love you we're gonna fight anything said negative you can't do that like as a parent i want my children to Exceed, to exceed and, 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 and I want them to succeed and excel rather excuse me I'm so excited I'm, I'm butchering words here which I commonly do so in order for them to succeed and excel I'm not going to tell them they're fantastic in something that I know they can do better in I may not butcher them about it but I may say hey look you know good start but we we, we got to do better than this you know what i'm saying and that's how you get your kids something something that you cherish like your kid anything if you wanted to excel you got to be straightforward honest and transparent you can't be worried about people on the periphery that just hating you know what i'm saying like it's like the scenario that i've said to uh, uh, numerous times if your house is on fire it doesn't matter if the neighbors across the street that you don't like say that it's on fire don't ignore them it's bigger than them the house is actually on fire don't say mm, i'm the boy i don't like them so let, let me just go on to work because when you come back the house is going to be burnt to the ground and that's what we're saying here ignore them and understand the realities of where they fell short stop damage controlling this stuff okay and the common problem with xbox is their presentations just fall flat except for those done outside of the box which is rare like the vgas that the, the, the young lady that is now part of the team she needs to work directly she needs to be phil's right hand person because he needs somebody like that in his life he does to mix it up and be more attached to the to the public opposed to the typical fanboys that love anything that you do or when xbox is forced by pressure to do better presentation like remember how they were going to present gears and little slithers and stuff like that and people weren't feeling that's like no nah, come on puppy this ain't gonna work and then they finally came out with that bloody trailer 
that even had your boy excited like whoa and i'm not even really a gears head all like that but i was excited about that there, there we go that that garnered some attention to to the franchise much needed attention okay and again xbox listening to the constant pom pom let's go feel rhetoric people <laughs> and, and, and listening to them shutting people off like you did at e3 particularly phil when he was getting criticism from people that you know he followed on twitter or whatever blocking them or unfollowing them and all this other silly stuff when you leave yourself in a silo like that then you put xbox in a situation where they think success is all about the charm effective you drown out the public because you've charmed these few people here that got you holding on to last place you think oh okay well look we charm these people without really putting out too much output so inherently you think if we just put out a little bit more output and keep the same charm we can win everybody Woohoo! <laughs> it's not gonna be the farthest thing from the truth that's wrong Arr. they need effective presentation of the games of this increased output they need effective presentation of them okay not presentation of them the personalities themselves they threw aaron greenberg in there you know what i'm saying because he got a little bit of umph to him they put him on a two dollar walmart camera and had him flailing his arms all over the place with a picture of the xbox series x refrigerator like that was going to be charming nobody cared nobody cared it's not about aaron greenberg we can't stick an hdmi cord to him and play the latest and greatest games it's about how you showcase the games, okay? And in this regard, they have not effectively enhanced their presentation skills solely on their product consistently. This is the problem, the, the meat and potatoes of the problem. Simply put as well, Xbox cannot survive with its current base alone. Because if you're just living off your current base and Xbox Game Pass is your business model, switching those people from Xbox Live to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which is to include xCloud, I believe. You know what I'm saying? And all your core business models only grant you a 33% increase with the people that got you in last place. You see what I'm saying? It only gives a 33% revenue increase. And from, and, and simply getting that, all right, that's not gonna cover all the newfound costs associated to said business model. How not? What do you mean, MM2K? Well, the current Xbox Game Pass business model dwarfs all the cart sales of their, their, of their first party lineup, the now ever so growing first party lineup. I, I'm not one to doubt that Xbox is gonna be churning out games left and right. I do not doubt that. The question is, what is the quality of the games? But they're gonna churn out more games and they're gonna be spending more money to churn these games out. Now, normally, you would get a la carte sales to offset your cost of development. But those a la carte sales are gonna be heavily dwarfed because why? These games are coming day and day to stay in Xbox Game Pass. Then on top of that, in addition, you now have to add costs to the licensing of third party games like Red Dead Redemption 2 or some of the other games that really aren't charting in your top 50 but you're hoping that that doesn't matter because why? You want to grow your subscription base. So just simply getting a 33% increase due to the cost of converting from Xbox Live to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate is not going to do that, all right? So to offset that bubbling overhead now that they're gonna have with increased first party games that they're not gonna get those overwhelming a la carte sales on and the new third party licensing to put games in Game Pass. Xbox needs growth well beyond its current base for this business model to be sustained. Grabbing mind share beyond the raw raw crowd, we will defend everything you do Xbox stands of today is imperative. With that all being said, thank goodness. Thank goodness it seems like Xbox might be catching on. Because at first, what they tried to do is they tried to hide 
the results of the likes versus dislikes ratio. Now, people will argue, no, they weren't trying to hide it, MM2K. What it was is they were trying to upload a more visually uh, 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 appealing version. I don't believe that. Or if you're trying to do that, you simply upload another video of the more visually um, um, compelling model. Leave it private. Check it out. Look at look at it. Make sure it's right. Then you make it active after you delete the other one. They know how to do this. Like, I, I don't believe that for a second. So they tried that and they did it twice. They did it twice. So I don't want to hear no more talk from anybody about people trying to hide views or not allow likes or whatever. No, everybody's guilty. Nobody, nobody can use that as an argument chip. All right. That being said, the refreshing thing here is that after all the hoopla, the homie Aaron Greenberg came out and said this on Twitter. He said, if helpful, oh no, 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 I'm sorry, that's the wrong one. I, this is the tweet that he said that was uh, really refreshing. And I commented after I posted a picture of what he said on Twitter. When Xbox even acknowledges their F up, I say, it's time for y'all to stop the damage control. No looking across the street as I alluded to earlier. No deleting videos for illusion of better likes. Just absorb, learn, and do better next time. And here's what Aaron had to say. He said, had we not said anything, it just showed me inside Xbox, show like we did last month. I suspect reactions might have been different. Clearly, we, we set some wrong expectation, and that's on us. We appreciate all the feedback and can assure you we will take it all in and learn as a team. That's fantastic. And I'm glad and I was it was refreshing to hear that from Aaron. He didn't listen to the to the Xbox stands that will go, whoa, whoa, they can sit, they can give them poop on a stick. And, and, and again, they'll, they'll try to connect a, a wireless Xbox controller to it and love it. They didn't listen to them. He acknowledged the sentiments coming from the public, the public that they need to win over. And he said, my bad or our bad, we're going back to the drawing board. And that was, uh, that was monumentous as far as I'm concerned. Because even after acknowledging, hey, look, we did set bad expectations beyond the damage control. You still had people on Twitter that said, you know what? I don't like the fact that you apologize. I, as an Xbox stand, I'm happy. So don't apologize. Not realizing that again, after everything that I laid out, that's not gonna help the Xbox bottom line just satisfying the stands. So with that said, let's hope that Xbox now fully embraces the public sentiment that they need, because they will need to win over this same public to make its products and visions a success. Freshen it here, and hopefully that July show and all the subsequent shows will, will, will be a lot better and, 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 and show off a lot better as well. And with that said, that's it from your boy MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below, because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead to the Broadband Bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, the Stadia Dosage. And with all that said, again, if you like the video, like, sub, and share, please. And you all have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.